Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I have got my sketchbook and I'm going to fill it with lots of ideas for autumn and fall so let's get straight into it. You guys seem to really enjoy my sketchbook videos so I'm going to be creating another one. I have linked my last sketchbook ideas video in the description box below. This very first sketchbook idea is all about creating organic shapes in your sketchbook and I've taken inspiration from pumpkins so I'm just freehanding those in onto this page and I'm using the bleeding technique to add a little bit more of that organic shape to my ideas. So this one is a really nice one to get started with in your sketchbook. Each of the pumpkins that I have chosen to paint are all different shapes, so it will also add a little bit more interest to your page as well. I absolutely love this sagey green coloured pumpkin, I think it looks just so beautiful against those orange tones. Once my initial painting had dried, I also then added some details in over the top by layering up my paints and this just enhances the details of those pumpkins and I've chosen to stick with the same colours within each of my pumpkins so that I have a clear colour palette on each of them. I think allowing yourself to just paint without sketching out beforehand is a really good way just to loosen up your painting style and also just have a little bit more fun with your painting and not be too precious over the end results and thinking more about just the process of the painting. I think it's also a really good skill to develop because it makes you really think about the shapes of the objects and conveying those into your painting without sketching them first. So you're really thinking about all of those little details and trying to get those in place where you can see them. So I would highly recommend giving this a go in your sketchbook and if you do make sure you tag me on Instagram so I can see your paintings as well. I'd really love to see your work. If you are enjoying my video today and you like sketchbook idea videos then make sure you subscribe because I do create these fairly often and it would be great to have you join me on my channel. For this next idea you could think about sketching out some autumnal designs. So I've got an acorn and also I have a few different types of leaves and a chestnut husk as well. And for this one I'm just loosely painting in my autumnal colours. So I've got reds and oranges and yellows and some greens in here as well. And I'm just allowing my paints to loosely bleed into one another to create up a really nice organic form of colour. And I have sketched this one in just because I wanted to plan out where my objects were going to go a little bit more carefully. And then thinking about where I'm going to put more intense colours and where some of my colours are going to be a little bit more subdued. I'm just loosely painting in over the top of my drawings and I'm not too worried if I go over my lines because I want some of this paint to bleed over the edge before I then add in further details. So I'm really looking for a really nice loose finish with my painting. Once the painting is fully dry you can then go in with a fine liner and then define your drawings over the top of the painting and you'll see here how I then have some of that paint spilling over the edges so you get a really nice clean crisp drawing but behind that you have a really nice organic painting and I think that contrast works really really well. And I'm just using cross hatching to add a little bit more definition to my drawings here and also just a little bit of hatching to build up some of those natural shades within each of the objects. I really wanted to add in this chestnut husk because for me autumn or fall is all about sort of coziness and I absolutely love 
roasted chestnuts and I think this time of year when you can go out and pick them if they grow in your area is a really lovely thing to do to get out and just find these chestnuts. Um, it's always been something that I've loved doing at this time of year and it's something I always look forward to as well. And I definitely had to add one for my sketchbook ideas for fall video because for me I don't think I could have fall or autumn without chestnuts. Using a fine liner is a really good way to add some mark making on top of your watercolour painting so I'm just using really nice vivid marks here. I think the bleeding technique of the paint is also a really good one to use to show how the leaves change colour at this time of year going from the greens to the oranges and browns and reds so this is a really nice technique for that. I then just use my pen to create this continuous line down the middle of the leaves and I think this is a really effective way to show the veins in the leaf and this is the final idea for this page and I really really love it. Let me know what you think in the comments. For many people, fall or autumn can only mean one thing, and that is pumpkin spice latte season. So I thought what a better way to celebrate fall by creating a double page spread of different types of pumpkin spice lattes. So I've got every type of variety that I could possibly think of, and I'm using gouache paint to paint these ones in for a more illustrative style. If you're interested in any of the art mediums that I have used in today's video then I will be linking them down in the description box below so you can easily go to those links to purchase them. I'm using a more structured style for this painting because I want it to have a semi-realistic feel for each of these different lattes and I'm using slightly different varieties of my brown tones and some of them will have a slightly warmer tone to them and some of them might have a slightly cooler tone but I'm just using the gouache for this because it's really good at layering up once you allow your paints to dry. What's your favourite pumpkin spice latte? Let me know in the comments or where your go-to place is for your pumpkin spice latte. I think having a double page spread in your sketchbook of the same subject matter but in a different style is a really good way to practice your drawing skills and also come up with different variations of colour and just designs as well. Some of the pumpkin spice lattes that I have drawn and painted are more complicated than others and it's a really good way for you to practice your painting skills. So some of mine on here are a little bit more ambitious, thinking about them being in glass mugs, so having to get in that glass effect as well as the actual drink. And I'm really pleased with how it's going so far. I really enjoy using the gouache paints because you can blend them in really nicely with one another. You can layer them up or you can still blend them whilst they are quite wet. So you can use them like an acrylic paint or you can use them like a watercolour. So I do feel like they are a very versatile paint to use. One of the other things that you can think of when creating a double page spread like this is limiting your colour palette. So for this one I've mainly used my burnt sienna, a burnt umber and a yellow ochre along with my white and also a little bit of black. So my colour palette has been very very limited for this one but it works really well across the entire page or the double page spread. So you could use this idea of limiting your colour palette for any work that you create in a sketchbook and it will help just bring that piece together. Reducing your colour palette is also a really good way for you to improve your colour theory understanding and it just will help improve your use of colour in general in your artwork. So definitely give this idea a go of creating a nice double page spread in your sketchbook on a limited colour palette. What would you choose to create a double page spread on? If you're not going to do pumpkin spice lattes, what do you think you would create instead? To finish off this idea I also created or added some star anise and some cinnamon because these are really key ingredients for the pumpkin spice latte. I'm really happy with this final outcome, I think it's really cosy and I just love this double page spread in my sketchbook.
This is my last idea for today's video. However, if you're interested in another sketchbook ideas video that's full of full ideas, then let me know in the comments because I have got some ideas already planned out in my sketchbook and I can make another video if you would like to see more. So for this idea, I have just created some figure drawings of different styles of fashion. And for this one, I just Google searched different types of outfits that I was interested in looking at and then try to draw and sketch those ones out. I then thought it would be really nice to use a fine line again because I do like those crisp lines within my drawings and I feel like it just enhanced my sketches a little bit further. So for this one, I'm just using cross hatching again to show the different shadings, but mostly just thinking about this as being a line drawing. And really just focusing on the ideas of full fashion. So thinking about chunky jumpers and nice jackets and hats and things like that. And each of the people that I've drawn here are wearing sunglasses as well because at this time of year you do get a really intense bright sun as well. So I wanted to include that in my drawing. And I'm just thinking about different poses for each of my drawings and thinking about how they can sit on the page together. So this could be a way for you just to really practice your figure drawing in your sketchbook. And then after I had created each of my line drawings, I decided to then add a really vibrant outline with my watercolour paints just to make these fashion drawings really stand out from the page. And I'm using my purples and blues to create these nice vibrant outlines around each of my drawings. And I think it just shows the sketches off really well. And then I really love this bright yellow around the purples as well. So thinking about complementary colours and colours that sit well together for this piece. There you guys have it. Those were some of my ideas for autumn and fall to fill your sketchbook. My favourite one is that double page spread of the pumpkin spice latte. I really enjoyed creating that piece. Like I said in my video, I do have lots more ideas planned out in my sketchbook. So if you would like to see that one, let me know in the comments and I will create that video for you. I've got loads of content planned for Halloween and autumn. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on those ones. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.